I will talk about the non-function features and the best thing is about speed, speed, and that's it. Okay. Kind of. So this is my virtual VM. Okay, virtual machine. Sorry, and which is kind of I have just created it. This is not the thing which we are going to distribute with all of you. Uh, we are going to deliver a much more polished kind of a product, wherein you will be getting your Spark, uh, you know, available to you. You will be having your Hadoop also installed. You will be having Shark also installed. This doesn't have Shark or anything installed right now. Okay, so uh, this is kind of my playground wherein I just keep doing a lot of experiments. Some of the them are probably many of them they don't even work. But anyway, now. Uh, okay, so what what am I trying to achieve? Uh, I'll just tell you in a short while. Okay, Hadoop fs hyphen rmr slash puppy. Okay, now what what I was trying to achieve here is, guys, I am going to run a simple word count application for you okay a simple word count application for you and then I'm going to show it to you the way you know uh, uh, the speed difference between Hadoop and Spark the same application does it excite you is it a good POC right this is like everything side by side you are seeing, right? And the file size, everything would be the same. Yeah, Santosh, I think you missed probably the earlier discussions. So you, Santosh is asking, someone is saying shark is dying. Is this true? <laughs> so I think you just missed that complete 10-15 minutes discussion at the very start. I mentioned it that Databricks has stopped the support for Shark. However, its you know successor, which is called Spark SQL, is not yet integrated with Hive. So till the time that is integrated, it will still be supported. I don't know up to the next release whenever it would be, right? After that, its GitHub repository will be deleted. Okay, <laughs> happens. <laughs> so now your this question has given me a good enough idea about the time when you were not in front of your system. <laughs> Just kidding. I'm an analytics side person. Anyway, now coming back here. So first thing first, I'm going to show you this transactions file. It's a, actually a very big file. Some I mean, who cares? There are some text which is written. I'm just performing to. I'm just going to perform the, you know, uh, kind of uh, word count on it. It's a very big file. You can actually see this. There are 95,904 records in it. Okay, it's kind of a more than one MB or two MB kind of a file. Okay, so this is the file which I have kept here, and I'll say Hadoop fs hyphen cat then slash txns and this 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 okay you can see this right and uh, it is there in my sdfs guys who are new by the way all of you are able to see my screen right my machine right great so like there are so many people i think stephen and others who are uh, uh, you know attending it for the first time so guys don't worry about Hadoop okay I'm um, you're not expected to understand Hadoop here it is just that I'm trying to show that Hadoop is quite popular I will perform a word count example on Hadoop on this particular file and then I will perform the very same word count example on on the same file in spark on the other other side and then I'll just show it okay by the way just a small gotcha here it is just that my uh, this this version which I have installed, I have not integrated Yarn with Spark. So, kind of what what I am trying to say is, I am going to 
So this same transaction file in in the, the Spark side, I would be accessing it from Linux. That would be the only difference. And that doesn't make any difference in this machine because anyway we are dealing with a single node. Okay. Niranjan, about this, about the size, could you please adjust with me just for today? I will take care of it from the next class onwards. About the font size, right? Just, just for this class. Okay. Now, uh, so I gonna run this example. You can, all of you people who are from Hadoop world, they know, right? There are some inbuilt examples. So I'm, I'm also a very lazy person, and I've just said Hadoop czar, Hadoop examples, word count, and slash station is where my, you know, input is slash op where my output is going to be, right? Enter. It has invoked the MapReduce program. There seems to be a very big comment on something from Jacob. Okay, Jacob, I'll come to your point later, please. Okay, so there seems to be this job which just got completed. Oops. I'll go back. Five. This just got completed. It took 15 seconds. I think before the class when I ran, it took 17 seconds also. Okay. So anyway, the point here is, you can see this map output records. Sorry, reduce output records, which are triple one zero five one, and actually you can just see that also. Hadoop fs hyphen cat slash op star and then I'll listen. What happened? Sorry, my mistake. Anyway, yep. You can actually see this. These are some of the word counts, right? They don't really matter. The point which I'm trying to say here is there is some word count which took some 15 seconds, right? The next thing which I want to do here is, and I don't really want to take any chance. Okay, so this is my Spark 1.0.1 which I've installed, and Right now, please don't worry about how do you invoke Spark Shell and all. Forget about it. I'm just invoking Spark Shell somehow. How did I install? What are the questions regarding it? Forget about those things as of now. Okay. So here is it. It is available. Now, what I'm trying to do is I'm going to load the same txns files here okay just in case if you people are thinking where this file is of course it is there in spark 1.0.1 see this this is that same txns files so by default it takes it from the linux path i could have made it as a as a, as the sdfs path also but the problem is i do not have the compatible versions with me okay so i'm really sorry about it but uh, you know uh, kind of for a single machine it doesn't really make any difference but I'll do that change when we'll move towards the Spark part of it. Of course, we'll be having the compatible versions also. Okay. So now, simple. And right now, it is just that I'm just trying to show you something here. 
that I've said well text file one is equal to sc dot text file. What is sc? Sc is something called Spark context. It is one of the context objects. You can just think of it like a context object in Hadoop, right? Through which I've just initiated it, and you can see that it has created an RDD object text file one. Okay, so it has done something. Forget about uh, like what exactly it has done. That's not the point. Now, this is the kind of calculation which I am doing here. Again, in this calculation, I have said val word counts one is equal to this text file one which I created, right? In which I did some some closer. This is actually the Scala code. You can see this. Do you remember how big were your Hadoop codes, right? Some 40 lines, 50 lines code, right? At least 40, 50 lines code, including import statement and everything, right? And see this. This is your mapper, and this is your reducer, right now. Okay. So don't think that uh, don't think that Spark really needs a mapper and reducer. This is where I'm using Spark as a generalized mapper reducer. That's why you are seeing a map and a reduce. Okay, so in mapper I am emitting word comma one and on the reducer I have I am emitting basically I am just adding all of them right okay so right now do not worry about what is this a comma b arrow a plus b these are nothing but just closers in Scala language okay and then I am sorry I am sorry okay now I will do the last part now I am going to say word counts one dot collect have you seen this Till the time I said word counts one, I have defined something. It didn't do anything at all. It didn't do anything. Okay. So, oops, what's wrong? Close man. Okay. Now, when I'll say this, then only the application would be started. Run. Over. And you can see this. Right, guys? And see the time. So it is it is still showing you the basically I have not saved it as a file. I could have saved it, but I just wanted to show you the the idea was the same word count. Can you see the processing time here? Same file, right? 17 seconds versus 4.15 seconds, right? Less than one third, right? It is it is this Storm program, and here is your Hadoop program. Right, Animesh, Jacob, Stephen, Amitabh, uh, you know others as well. Har Harsh, Santosh, both Vamsis, right? And this is the difference on one machine, which is which which happens to be a virtual machine, <laughs> right? Because Santosh, at one place, I was fetching it from my local file system. And not loading it in memory, isn't it? So now you can think if it happens to be a parallel thing, right? It's not a real comparison. Why? It is a real comparison. It will happen always this way. You will just specify your file. That's it. Santosh. I just provided the file name and the way Storm did is it loaded the file into the memory. File is in local, file right now it is in local but even if it would be in HDFS it would not have made any difference because you are dealing with a single node, right? You are dealing with a single node machine or probably in the next example I will do it in HDFS. It, it would be even slower because there are other objects which get created, right? DFS stream, object, and all that stuff, 
for reading the data right santosh i hope you are getting the point right so with a local or with hdfs it is even going to be a bit slower so the dag algorithm yes so santosh it is kind of uh, i would say not really superior it is kind of, you you know right pig in pig also dag is created and it is quite uh, lazy right and then unless you invoke it invoke an action it doesn't it doesn't get executed the same is true with spark <clears throat> right it makes it slow and the reason behind the slowness is you create uh, unnecessary java objects not unnecessary basically the necessary objects for the hdfs uh, 